Welcome back to today's video. So today, somebody gave me some insulators. Mr. Tape gave them to Mr. Brian Stevenson, and Mr. Brian Stevenson gave them to me. So yeah, there's a person that gave them to me. So let's start with the porcelain, because Mr. Tate has a lineman sewing, and well, he, you know how we got him. So, all right, let's start out with one familiar one. This is an ITE. I about got one of these after the tornado, but Lyman took one. But this is an ITE WL, and it's one of these brown and radio treated insulators, which is very unique. They come in all different sizes and shapes. The next insulator, it's really neat. Our next insulator is this Victor here. This Victor Brown insulator. It says V on it. V. Victor. And it's really it's really cool how uh it's just really neat. It looks like it's an older one, definitely. The next porcelain one is this another Victor. It's a little bit scratched up, but it is fine. I love these old brown insulators. I barely get brown insulators. Alright guys, that's now guys let's move on to the glass, which is all different shapes sizes. So let me put this down. Put all these down here. Alright, first we're going to start off with small and porcelain. So, we got these old knob and tube wire insulators that come out of an old house, I'm assuming. Uh, I got actually a whole jar of these at a bottle dug one time. These are electric fence insulators, but you can see I got a whole jar of them at a bottle dug at an old dump for. So, I'm pretty familiar to these. You can see, let me show you one up close. They're pretty neat. Alright. Oh, I care to do that. Sorry about that, guys. Alright. We're going to start off with the blue glass ones. which are my favorite. So we're going to start off with this beehive here. This is obviously a more modern beehive. Because an older beehive. Uh, let me show you an older beehive that's in my collection. I bought this in an antique store. This is an older one. And this is a newer one. I like how it's light aqua. Sort of greenish. Which is neat how green it is. You can see this one here, it's a blue or it's a uh it would have been this color, but this is a little bit darkened. Alright guys. Next insulator is this Hemming Ray style or this or this uh uh Oh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, we got this Hemingway one that looks like a, an insulator. It looks like this. A beehive insulator. A beehive style Hemingway, which is really cool. Has a drip points, which really didn't work, to be honest. Our next one is a little bit of a weirder one. This is a Hemingway. It says only Hemingway, and then it has a no with the dot, which is probably number 40. Which is, this is one's really unique. I love it. It's older, definitely. Has a bluer. I mean, I love glass insulators. Wish I found more of them. Next one is this another one, but that'll have a number five on the top. This one says Hemingway. And then number 40. Next one is this uh, Hemingway 42. I got a clear 42. Uh, you can see it's blue. It says made in the USA on it. And it's just really cool and all. You can see it's a little dirty. I couldn't get quite a lot of dirt off. And then this one here is a very, very light. It's a very aqua Hemingway 42. It's very blue. I love the bluish. I love it. You see it's barely embossed. Alright. Next one is this old Brookfield. This small Brookfield insulator. It says Brookfield and it says New York on it. This one's a bit of a unique one. I glued back this piece here. But you can see it's a pretty nice insulator. Alright guys, that's all the blue ones. Now let's move on to the clear ones. So, starting with clear ones, we're going to start with one of these. A Hemingway 42. 
You see here in Ford 2, I got one down there I found on a railroad. Let me show you. Oh, I sound like an old man. I better stop. Alright, so here's that here in Ford 2 I found on the railroad a while back. It's a little bit dinged up from the rocks, but you can see pretty common Hemeray 42. A little bit better condition than the one I own. Yeah, pretty neat insulator. Alright. And then we got this one. This one is a Armstrong insulator. These these are more common in Florida. Down here they're kind of rare to find. We've got an Armstrong insulator. See, these were used for so these all these were used for telegraph. I'll show you the ones that were used for telephone whenever I get to one of them. And here's the ones that were used for telephone. This is a Hammer 45. I got one. Um, I found this one near an old telephone line in the woods. Hammer 45. But these were used for t old telephone lines. Not telegraph, telephone. But they're pretty neat. I found this one a while back. Walk in the woods. But yeah, you can see Hammer 45. A little bit less than embossed. Pretty neat. And then here's this one, another Hemeray 42, you can see, and then another Hemeray 45, got, there's a lot of these, and I love, I love the clear ones, so we got some unique clear ones. Alright guys, now we're going to move on to some more clear ones, so we got no Hemeray 45, but this one's unique, this one's unique, so basically this, this one is a Clearish, bluish, aqua-ish. Can you see a clear one compared to the bluish, aqua-ish? That's what makes this one unique. You see him right 42. And then this one's sort of a pink. This one's sort of a pink glass insulator. You probably can't see it on camera, but it has a pink tint to it. This one is, a, of course, a him right 45. Him right 45. Uh, then, next, then next one here is a... Armstrong insulator. It's an older one. It's an older Armstrong insulator. As you can see it's a Made in USA 268. It's an older Armstrong insulator. I'm assuming these were used on telephone by looking. There's no drip points, which is newer style. Another one, another pinkish glass one, Himray 45. Great water. Mm. <coughs> oh man. Alright, we got another pink glass here, 45 right here. You can see it's. I like these. I like how the different variants. Then right here, we got a actually a unique one. This is a yellow, sort of a yellowish glass one. It's a Hemeray 45, but it's a yellowish glass one, which is kind of unique. So I love about different styles of these. Another. Armstrong, another Armstrong insulator right here. You can see my my Goga had tons of these things, Armstrong. And like a couple Hemingrays. I guess they were very common in Florida. Then we got another Hemingray 42. Then we got another Hemingray 42, but it's a, a bluish aquaish, which I love. Blue Hemingray 42. And then, let me get the box over here. We got another bluish, a more bluish one, Hemeray 42. It's, I like how bluish these things look. Alright, and then we got a Hemeray 45, another pinkish one. And then, this one is a little bit different. We got a Hemeray 56. I love these things. Here is 56. And it was probably used in telephone. These things are awesome. Sort of a blues or a sort of a yellowish glass one. You can see the drip points. Even the Hero 45 has those little ends at the end. But you can see a nice Hero 56. Thank you for watching today's video. Like, subscribe, and peace.